Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we'll be diving into one of the A320's primary cockpit controls, the side stick. The Airbus A320 ditches the traditional yoke for a pair of side sticks, one for each pilot. These side sticks are a key part of the plane's fly-by-wire system, using electronic signals instead of cables to control the aircraft. They have a full 360-degree range of movement that allows the aircraft to be controlled in both pitch and roll. Yaw is also controlled indirectly through the aircraft's automatic turn coordination. The side sticks are not mechanically linked to each other and do not receive feedback from the flight control surfaces. Each side stick movement is mechanically transferred to the side stick transducer unit, known as the SSTU, which contains 12 potentiometers. Each potentiometer is linked to a channel in either the ELAC or SEC flight control computers. The side sticks are spring-loaded to a neutral position by hydraulic dampers. These are located inside the SSTU and are used to damp the physical movement of the side stick. The side sticks are designed for single-handed operation and offer more cockpit space, but require clear communication between pilots to avoid accidental conflicting inputs. The main operational benefits of the side-mounted stick are it enables a non-obstructed view of the main instrument panel, it fits comfortably into the hand with a correct adjustment of the armrest, it makes the sliding table installation possible, which can be used for maps, documents, and meals, and finally, it is well adapted for emergency situations, for example, during incapacitation, stick jamming, or control failures. The other pilot can easily lock the unwanted side stick out in these cases. More on that later. The side stick position is indicated by a Maltese cross on the primary flight display. It appears after the first engine is started on the ground and disappears again once airborne. It shows the combined side stick position and is an algebraic sum of both side sticks. Four corners of a box are also displayed on the PFD to indicate the maximum side stick deflection possible. If a side stick is deflected by more than three degrees in either pitch or roll on the ground, the flight control system display page will replace the wheel system display page for 20 seconds. This logic is introduced for the flight control checks during taxi. The normal side stick position for takeoff is a half down deflection. This is increased to a full down deflection for takeoffs in a tailwind or above certain crosswind limits. Each side stick has two extra controls. Firstly is the push to talk trigger switch. This allows the pilots to transmit on the selected radio frequencies that are tuned into the radio management panel without having to take their hand off the side stick. Neither push-to-talk switch is required by the aircraft's minimum equipment list, providing that the switch is in the open, non-transmitting position and that the int-rad switch on RMPs 1, 2, and 3 are operative. The second control is the red side stick push button. This can be used to disconnect the autopilot and also take over control of the aircraft from the other pilot. Either flight crew member can make an input on their side stick at any time. However, only one flight crew member should be flying the aircraft at any one time. If both flight crew members use their side sticks simultaneously, their orders are algebraically added. However, the sum is limited to the maximum deflection of one side stick. If the pilot monitoring wants to act on the side stick, they must clearly announce I have control and press and maintain the side stick push button in order to get full control of the fly-by-wire system. This will deactivate the other flight crew's side stick provided they keep the side stick push button pressed. The pilot losing authority should announce you have control and release their side stick.
If the push button remains pressed for 40 seconds, the other side stick will be deactivated and the push button can be released. The other side stick is permanently deactivated until either flight crew member presses their side stick push button again. After this, it takes three seconds to regain the side stick authority. If both flight crew members press their side stick push button, the last pilot to press their button gets the priority. When CM1's side stick push button is pressed to gain control, the oral message priority left will be announced. The green captain side stick priority light will illuminate on CM1's side and the red arrow on CM2's side will also illuminate. The opposite is true when CM2's side stick push button is pressed to gain control. However, the oral message priority right will be announced. The green first officer side stick priority light will illuminate on CM2's side and the red arrow on CM1's side will also illuminate. If the pilot losing authority releases their side stick, the side stick priority lights will extinguish. If they do not release their side stick, the lights will remain illuminated for as long as an input is sensed on their side stick. Dual inputs on both side sticks should be avoided and will trigger oral and visual alerts. In this case, both green side stick priority lights on the glare shield illuminate and the dual input voice message is activated. This message is repeated every five seconds until either one, one side stick stops their inputs, two, a side stick is deactivated, three, a master warning push button is pressed, or four, the emergency cancel push button is pressed. There is no possibility of simultaneous input from the flight crew and the autopilot. When the autopilot is engaged, a solenoid keeps the side sticks locked in a neutral position. The autopilot can be disconnected instinctively at any time by a firm pressure on the side stick in any direction. If a flight crew member applies a force above a given threshold, both side sticks unlock and the autopilot disengages along with the cavalry charge oral alert. Airbus recommends using the side stick push button to disconnect the autopilot above any other method and recommends pressing it twice to disconnect both autopilots. The side stick fault ECAM caution is one of the few ECAM cautions that still appear above 100 knots on the takeoff roll. It is triggered when a pitch or roll transducer has failed and a rejected takeoff should be greatly considered. This fault produces no ECAM actions and is for crew awareness only. A flight control side stick priority fault can be triggered in flight. This requests the crew to check the priority logic and to also switch ELAC 1 and 2 off, then on in sequence to attempt to reset the flight control computers. If a faulty side stick or transducer is not locked out, then voltage spikes in the potentiometers can send unwanted pitch or roll commands to the ELACs and SEX, even with neutral side stick. Thanks for tuning into this tutorial on the side stick. Thank you.